As we reflect today on the accomplishments of, of our past leaders, let us also appreciate the future and honor another wonderful example of leadership in President Lori Mosley. Alexis and her father, Kenneth, will have the honor of installing our next president. My mother is more than a mother to me. My mother is my best friend. And as many of you know, she is truly a beautiful woman, kind-hearted, and strong. Politics was not even on my mother's radar. Nevertheless, we all know that she is a brilliant leader with a heart of gold. My mother was born in Brookline, Massachusetts, however, grew up in Long Island, New York. As many snowboards do, my grandparents moved from New York to Florida permanently. And my mother, like her and I, have a great relationship. She had the same with her mother. So my parents became Floridians too. My grandparents were very civically involved, my grandfather especially. And when my mother ran for city commissioner in 1995, she wasn't concerned about her. She was concerned about him and how he would feel. As you can guess, she won. My mother in 1999 ran for mayor and has been reelected every year after she has run. If my grandfather only knew how of a strong woman and a public servant she would become, I know he would be very proud. My grandparents are no longer with us, but my mother has luckily gotten my grandfather's strength and my grandmother's warmth. I just want all of you to know how lucky you are to have this mayor, this woman, my mother, as your next president of the Florida League of Cities. I know she will present this league with poise and esteem respect. Lady and gentlemen, my mom, Mayor Lori Cohen. I, Lori Mosley, do solemnly swear. I, Lori Mosley, do solemnly swear. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, protect and defend. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. And Florida. And Florida. Abide by the Charter and Bylaws of the Florida League of Cities, Inc. And abide by the Charter and Bylaws of the Florida League of Cities, Inc. That I am duly qualified to hold this office. That I am duly qualified to hold this office. And that I will well and faithfully perform. And that I will well and faithfully perform. The duties of President of the Florida League of Cities. The duties of President of the Florida League of Cities. And where am I about to enter? On which I am now about, about to, to enter. enter. <laughs> so help me God. So help me God. By the power of S in me, I now declare you president of the Florida League of Cities. May you build upon the legacy of this great organization as you serve this wonderful cities of Florida. I am so humbled to stand before you as the 92nd president of the Florida League of Cities. We have such a great league and it is a privilege to serve as president of this esteemed organization. While I thank each and every one of you for your support, I want to share some words of gratitude and appreciation to those who have played an extraordinary role in the honor that has been bestowed upon me today. To my family, nothing that I have achieved would have been possible without your help, love, and support. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for putting up with everything that I do. Thank you, I love you all. I would also like to acknowledge those who have come before me, the esteemed days of past presidents. Having had the honor of serving with many of you, you have helped me hone my skills and prepare me well to serve as your president. It is especially rewarding to follow our immediate past president, PC, I now have the gavel, um, <laughs> President P. 
PC wool. who led the league with such dignity and selflessness. We know he did his best to try and prepare me for this coming year, and we also know that was certainly not an easy task. So, if you have any issues with my leadership skills, please blame PC. <laughs> I look forward to serving you with our new first vice president, Matt Sorensen. And our new second vice president, Susan Haney. It is my hope to show them the same generosity that was shown to me. Your unwavering support has been so appreciated. Thank you so much for standing with me. Many of us came from different parts of the country, if not different parts of the world. But somehow, I've been lucky enough to have met those that I consider to be my Florida family, a group of people who are always there for me through thick and thin. Thank you for having my back. And at this moment, it is all about me. <laughs> the Florida League of Mayors was the first statewide organization that I served as president. That experience taught me so much and to prove to be a turning point in my public service career as I realized that, hey, maybe I could really do this. And I was about to embark on a new path of leadership and service. Thank you to all the members of the Florida League of Mayors and to John Thomas and Jenny Anderson for helping me guide, guide me along. It has been almost 20 years since I got involved in the Florida League of Cities. I enjoyed every moment of it and many opportunities that the League had afforded me. It amazes me that I stand here before you as your president. Working with so many of you over the years has expanded my horizons and provided me with the tools necessary to lead this grateful organ great organization. I am grateful to you and excited for this new challenge. And finally, to the nuts and bolts that make the Florida League of Cities one of the best leagues in the country. Thank you to Mike Siddick and the dedicated and expert group of professionals that operate the league. There is so much behind the scenes work that goes on to accomplish the league's goals and objectives. You make us all look good and sometimes that's trying. So please keep moving those mountains and thank you for all you do. My public service career when the, began when a principal of Fairway Elementary School asked me to get involved with an advisory group and to have breakfast with the principals once a month. I was a classroom mom involved in PTA, and my children went to school there, so despite the fact that I really didn't like to eat with strangers, I said yes. I went from being a PTA mom to being elected to the city commission in 1995 by a landslide victory of nine votes <laughs> and was elected mayor in 1999. On the night I was sworn in as mayor, I lost my voice. I know you have all figured out that was the last time that ever happened. <laughs> and I have been speaking out on behalf of Home Rule and the great work of municipal elected officials ever since. While thinking about my initiative for this year, it became clear to me that our success as a league comes from our ability to educate and our expertise in networking. Having personally benefited from both of these strengths, I believe that great strides can be made in the area of engaging millennials in local government and educating them in the vital role local government has in their everyday lives. I envision an action plan to partner with our higher education institutions, with the ultimate goal being the development of tomorrow's municipal leaders. That we have seen an increased participation from the millennials in federal um, elections. We need to bring that energy and creativity home to our own municipal chambers. 
So many people get involved only when they are disgruntled about something. Let's capture the millennials' enthusiasm and optimism and use those qualities to benefit our cities. By creating and nurturing these types of partnerships, we can reduce Florida's drain dra brain drain as these future leaders will become vested, knowledgeable, committed, and connected. All positive forces and deciding where to call home. We need to, these young people could, to keep this state vibrant and alive, since many of them really do not know much about their cities, but they, knew, they know about our services because they use them every day. So I want to build networks and partnerships to help us reach and engage these young adults. My passion has always been local civic education and public service. As president, I believe my vision can further engage untapped resources that are right in front of us. With your help and support, we can build a brighter tomorrow for those who are here today and those that will follow in the future. Thank you very much. So happy to be here today on behalf of um, Lori Mosley, our mayor. I've been a strong supporter of her since the day I met her. I know she loves our city and she works hard for us. And this uh, opportunity to serve as president of the Florida League of Cities, an auspicious organization, is uh, something that she has uh, longed to do. And I'm so excited for her that she has reached this point. And I know that she'll do great things for the Florida League of Cities and in turn, put uh, more emphasis on the importance of Broward and particularly the city of Miramar. So happy for her. She's a great individual and I truly support our mayor, Lori C. Mosley. Hi, Mayor Mosley, Patty Good from the school board. It really was such an honor and privilege to be here today to witness you being sworn in by your daughter as president of the Florida League of Cities. I know you will represent Miramar well and certainly Broward County. Congratulations. Hi, this is Lisa and Henry Rose, and congratulations to Mayor Lori Mosley as president of the Florida League of Cities. Hello, I'm Yvette Coburn, Vice Mayor for the City of Miramar, and it's a pleasure to be here today to honor Lori Mosley. Congratulations, Mayor Mosley. Look forward to working with you in the League of City. Thank you so much for the work that you do. Mayor Mosley, congratulations on becoming president of the League of Cities. The cities, uh, the League is very, very fortunate to have you at their helm, that you are a dynamic leader, you're a dynamic, dynamic woman, and certainly passionate about what you do. So I know that they're going to be much better for your service and for your contributions. And I'm just proud of you. I'm very proud of you for the fact that I know you can do this. And just like you do everything else, you're going to kick butt. So God bless you, and, and if you ever need anything in your, to support you in this role, just call me. I'm Greg Ross, Mayor of Cooper City, someplace special, to someone special, Mayor Mosley. Congratulations, no one better. You're going to do a wonderful job. Hi, I just want to say congratulations to Mayor Mosley. I'm very proud of her, very happy for her, and she knows if I had known that she was going to say something about me, I would have sat in the back, but no, really congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to the City of Miramar's Mayor, Lori C. Mosley, for being inducted today as the President of the Florida League of Cities. We are so proud and excited to have our Mayor of the City of Miramar inducted today. Congratulations. We wish you the very best, and we know that you'll do the Florida League of Cities, our city, and all of the cities in Broward County proud. Hi, I'm Tina Brown, an honorary member because my mom is Vice Mayor Mary Lawson Brown, and I am so glad and so proud to know Lori Mosley and her being uh, inducted into the presidency of the FLC. As the song goes, we are so happy today that our city and my mayor, Mayor Lori Mosley, has now reached a new pinnacle, which gives our city a new pinnacle as the new president of the Florida League. I couldn't be prouder for her, and I couldn't be prouder for the city of Miramar. I am so excited to become the president of the Florida League of Cities. Most importantly, to continue to put 
Miramar on the map of the state of Florida. Because the best part is every time they say that I am the president of the Florida League of Cities, they say I am in the, the mayor of the city of Miramar. So I am so honored and privileged today to serve all the elected officials in the state of Florida, but mostly to serve the residents of the city of Miramar as we continue to grow and prosper into a phenomenal community. Mm -hmm.